Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, The Curly Malaysian. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my first impression on the Naughty Hair Care brand, which I've purchased recently. So we will be covering around 7 sections, which is the price, the packaging, whether or not these products are Curly Girl approved, the ingredient, the texture, my personal experience since I've used them once, and also where can you get these products in Malaysia. I will leave the timestamp of these sections in the description box below. So just in case you want to look into a specific section, you can refer to the timestamp that I've actually left in the description box. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Alright, first let's speak about the pricing of these products. As you can see, I've separated the products on my left and also on my right. Reason being, it's because I got them separately. Okay, so I'll just explain on that. So the Detox Dynamo Clarifying Shampoo, the To The Rescue Moisture Boost Conditioner, and also the Microfiber Hair Towel Wrap, they came in a deal at about um, RM60 Ringgit. However, I do believe that their normal price is about 94 ringgit, alright? And then just because I wanted to try the shampoo and conditioner from the same range, the To The Rescue range, so I went on and added um, the To The Rescue Moisture Boost Shampoo separately and this costed me about 25 ringgit. All right, and I think the normal price for this product goes for about 47 ringgit. So the reason I got it on sale was because they were having the 8-8 sale on Lazada. All right, so in total, all these four products, they costed me about 80 ringgit. Let's talk about packaging. As you can see, this product comes in tube form. In terms of the color of the tube, I would say they fall towards the ashy lilac color, which is so beautiful. And then in terms of the texture of these tubes, I can say that the tube seems matte, but the wording on the tube, they are glossy. Okay. And another thing that I like about this packaging is that both the shampoo and conditioner they come in the same amount, which is 250 milliliter. So usually what I see in the market is that sometimes you get the conditioner which is lesser than the shampoo let's say the conditioner is 100 milliliter and then the shampoo is 150 so in terms of the naughty products i would say that the amount that they give is the same which i truly appreciate and in terms of the packaging what i like is that they have written everything on their packaging as you can see from their brand to 97 percent natural what is the range and they have also mentioned on the product that it's cruelty free no parabens no petrochemicals no sulfates no silicones it's vegan friendly and they have mentioned it's a conditioner and what it's its purpose it's suited for dry and damaged hair Okay, and they have also mentioned the main ingredient, which is with sweet almond and sunflower seed for the conditioner. And for the clarifying shampoo, they have with peppermint and sorrel leaf. And for the To The Rescue shampoo, it's the main ingredient is also listed on top, which is the same sweet almond and sunflower seed. Now, at the back of the packaging for both the shampoo and conditioner, they have actually um included the direction and also the ingredient okay so that it's really helpful in terms of packaging so everything that you need to know about this product it's on the packaging next for those who are wondering whether or not these products are curly girl method approved i would say yes I will leave the link down below to the website that I've checked and these products or rather this brand, it falls under the Curly Girl Method approved products. Okay, next, let's speak about the most important part which is the ingredient. As for the ingredient, I will be going through the top 8 
ingredient in each of the products so some will be repetitive but this should give you a rough idea on what are these ingredients used for okay so i might not be pronouncing each and every ingredient because let's be real guys it's too scientific for me so i will leave all the ingredient um i mean the top eight ingredient in the comment box below so probably you want to check that out but i'll try my best to pronounce which i can and which i can't you just refer down there okay so the first one it's the let's go to the to the rescue shampoo okay so i believe the shampoo okay so we have two which is the moisture boost and also the clarifying so we'll start with the moisture boost the first one is um water so water works as solvent the second ingredient here is a foam booster okay and the third ingredient on the shampoo its purpose is as a conditioning agent okay and then at number four we have glycerin which is a humectant so what that will do is it will help to pull out the moisture from the air okay the fifth ingredient its purpose is as a cleansing agent i would say and the sixth ingredient it's a thickening agent okay the seventh ingredient it's um it's mainly to preserve the product okay and the eighth ingredient in the shampoo is just fragrance okay so moving on it's for the detox dynamo clarifying shampoo as we can see the first ingredient is same it's water which is a solvent the next one we have is a foam booster third one is glycerin which is a humectant to pull the moisture from the air the fourth ingredient serves the purpose as a cleansing agent the fifth ingredient it's a conditioning agent the sixth ingredient it's a thickening agent Seven in seventh ingredient is for preserving the product and the eighth is just fragrance as well okay in terms of the conditioner okay so i can see that the products are okay yeah so in terms of the conditioner i would say the first one it's the same which is a uh, water okay that's a solvent the second one it's a bonding agent okay so the second ingredient here works as a bonding agent for oil and water okay so next in line you can see it's yes okay so that's the purpose of the second ingredient the third one we have it's a coconut oil which is a hair conditioning agent okay so that will actually help to condition your hair okay and the fourth ingredient it's a okay that is an emollient so what that will do is it will help to prevent moisture loss okay the fifth one we have is a once again glycerin it's a humectant and it's going to draw moisture from the air the sixth it's a shea butter that's for moisturizing and then we have cocoa okay that's an emollient i would say so the purpose is to soften your hair and this is actually the seventh pro uh, ingredient here this is a natural ingredient which is derived from coconut i believe okay and then the eighth ingredient it's a preserving agent and then you can see that they have a fragrance olive oil and all the other good ingredients so in terms of the ingredients in all this product i would say it's pretty basic it's pretty good it's pretty clean and i believe this uh, the ingredients are also naturally sourced so that's a good thing moving on let's speak about the texture of the product so i would say let's speak the detox dynamo clarifying shampoo okay in terms of the texture both the shampoo they have the same texture which is clear runny texture i would say so i'll just show you guys here okay let's get this opened okay there you go as you can see the texture is quite runny okay and it's clear okay moving on we have it the conditioner as for the conditioner i would say that the texture is quite creamy so it's technically white cream and i will just show you guys that as well as you can see here okay there you go okay that's the texture of the conditioner finally how did this 
products perform for me personally. I will just like to leave a disclaimer here that I've only tried these products once, hence I am including them in my first impression of this brand. So in terms of the performance of these products, I would go with the shampoos first. The clarifying shampoo did a great job. It worked similarly as how my other clarifying shampoo would do, but it wasn't as ripping as the some of the products that, that I have in terms of the clarifying shampoo range and also another plus point is that it is curly girl approved so I appreciate that for the clarifying shampoo in terms of the moisture boost shampoo I would say it did a pretty good job and when I was applying this product I felt that it doesn't leave a grease on your hair which is really good because there are some shampoos which once you apply it and you're washing and when you wash it off, you will feel like there's a thin film on your hair. So that didn't have that. So probably, this, um, I mean, one of the main point and uh, one of the main reason is because they are silicone free. Okay, so that is a good thing. In terms of the conditioner, now I do have mixed feeling on the conditioner. It did a pretty good job at conditioning my hair or leaving it soft and you know giving that moisture that I needed but I felt that I was using uh, more of the product on my hair probably because um, probably because my hair is already so dry so however I did um, look up and I noted that they also have a leave-in conditioner from this range which I would like to give it a try maybe that would actually help and I don't think it's just the product. I personally feel it's my hair too. Okay, so in terms of the performance of this product, I think they did pretty good. And I truly appreciate that they are clean and also, you know, they are curly girl approved. Okay, in terms of leather, this product doesn't leather as much. Okay, in terms of shampoo, it's just, um, it's a medium leather. And that's not because of the it's not because they have sulfate or anything it's because as i mentioned in my ingredient review okay the they do have the second ingredient it's a foam booster so you know so some of us we prefer to see the foam it's because we know that you know where are we cleaning our hair exactly so in sense in that sense they they did include that in their ingredient as a you know the foam booster in their ingredient so in terms of leather i would say it was pretty good as well lastly where can you purchase the Naughty brand products in Malaysia? You can check out this brand on Shopee and Lazada. They do have their official page on Shopee and Lazada. And you can also find them on Instagram. I will leave all the link down below in the description box. So maybe you want to check that out. In terms of customer service, if let's say you have any question regarding the products, you can just DM them on Instagram or you can actually reach out to their Shopee or Lazada customer service page. My personal experience, they do reply really quick. So, you know, that's a plus point for the brand and the way they are managing their customer service. So that would be all. And please sure, be sure to check these products out. I will just leave the link down below.